I'd like to welcome you to tonight's even. Will Stubinja and his musical talent that he will be sharing with us this evening. I'm Deanna Knoll, and I'm just glad that each of you are here this evening. Pastor Glenn is going to give us our invocation, and then the program will begin. Dear Lord, we're really thankful that we get to gather this Friday evening to listen to music and your word. And we ask for your holy angels to be around us and to bless Will as he blesses us. In Jesus' name, amen. A reading from Psalm 122. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem that is built to be a city where people come together in unity. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you be secure. May there be peace within your walls and security within your citadels. For the sake of my family and friends, I will say, peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will pray for your good. A reading from Psalm 42. As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. 
When can I go and meet with God? My tears have been my food day and night, while people say to me all day long, Where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul, how I used to go to the house of God under the protection of the Mighty One, with shouts of joy and praise among the festive throng. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Susan Palo Cherwin, now deceased. She was the wife of David Cherwin, whose music we will hear later in this program. God is praised in yearning. We are not yet what we are to be. We yearn for completion. The universe is not yet what it is to be. It yearns for fulfillment. We long for lives lived in awareness, desire a future banquet, Envision the next to be. Seek the coming, not yet. Yearning makes possible our striving and risking when it is nourished by joy and justice. Longing leaves behind success and passes by satisfaction. It is the seed of potentia in us. The seed of potential, the seed of power, the seed of paradise. Thank mm -hmm. you.
A version of this poem is inscribed at the head of the next piece. The plaintive piping of bagpipes floats through the shimmering haze. The lazy far off hillsides doze and dream of other days. Till joyous youths of the season sweep by in sunburnt rout and leave the listening leafy trees dazed with their golden shout.
David Sherwin is currently serving as cantor, that is music director, at Mount Olive Lutheran Church in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and in 2002 was appointed artistic director for the National Lutheran Choir, also based in the Twin Cities, a position from which he only recently retired. He has also held other full-time parish music positions in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area, Chicago, Seattle, and Berlin. Many years ago, Will, our organist, attended a hymn festival featuring David playing his own hymn interpretations and has been inspired by and playing David's music ever since. A reading from Psalm 104, which inspired the poet Robert Grant, who wrote the hymn, O Worship the King. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, thou art great indeed, clothed in majesty and splendor, and wrapped in a robe of light. Thou hast spread out the heavens like a tent, and on their waters laid the beams of thy pavilion. Who takest the clouds for thy chariot, riding on the wings of the wind, who makest the winds thy messengers, and flames of fire thy servants. Thou didst fix the earth on its foundation, so that it can never be shaken. The deep overspread it like a cloak, and the waters lay above the mountains. At thy right rebuke they ran, at the sound of thy thunder they rushed away, flowing over the hills, pouring down into the valleys to the place appointed for them. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. All my life I will sing psalms to my God. May my meditation please the Lord as I show my joy in him. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh, praise the Lord. from Isaiah 32, 1 to 3, and Galatians 6, 14. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and princes shall rule in judgment, and a man shall be a refuge from the wind and a shelter from the tempest. As rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a thirsty land. And the eyes of them that see shall not be dim, and the ears of them that hear shall hearken. The anxious heart will understand and know. But God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world is crucified unto me, and I unto the world.
Today reading from the ninth chapter of the Gospel of John. Jesus saw a man blind from his birth. His disciples put the question, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents? Why was he born blind? Jesus answered, he was born blind so that God's power might be displayed in the world. While daylight lasts, we must carry on the work of him, of him who sent me. Night comes when no one can work. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. With these words, he spat on the ground and made a paste. He spread it on the man's eyes and said to him, Go and wash in the pool of Siloam. The name means scent. The man went away and washed, and when he returned, he could see. The Jews would not believe that the man had been blind and had gained his sight until they summoned his parents and questioned them. Is this man your son? Do you say he was born blind? How is it that he can see now? The parents replied, we know that he is our son and that he was born blind. But how it is that he can now see or who opened his eyes, we do not know. Ask him, he is of age, he will speak for himself. They summoned the man who had been blind and said, speak the truth before God. We know that this fellow, meaning Jesus, is a sinner. Whether or not he is a sinner, I do not know, the man replied. All I know is this, I once was blind, but now I see. Psalm 46.10, be still and know that I am God. A reading from the poem by Katharina von Schlegel, translated by Jane Borthwick and set to the music Finlandia, composed by Jean Sibelius. Be still, my soul, 
the Lord is on your side. Bear patiently the cross of grief or pain. Leave to your God to order and provide. In every change, he faithful will remain. Be still, my soul, your best, your heavenly friend, through thorny ways leads to a joyful end. Be still, my soul, the hour is hastening on when we shall be forever with the Lord. When disappointment, grief, and fear are gone, sorrow forgot, love's purest joys restored. Be still, my soul, when change and tears are past, all safe and blessed we shall meet at last. Exodus 15, 13. Thou in thy mercy hast led forth the people which thou hast redeemed. We will read or speak together the 23rd Psalm, which many of you probably know by heart. If you need a reminder, it is found in the back of your hymnal at number 726. We will all speak the entire Psalm together, not responsively. Are you ready? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. 
He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. from Isaiah 58, 6 to 9. Is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen? To loose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free and break every yoke. Is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter? When you see the naked, to clothe them, and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood. Then your light will break forth like the dawn and your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Then you will call and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help and he will say, here am I. Please join in singing hymn 363. There will be an organ interpretation played between each stanza.
Psalm 36, 9. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light, we see light. Come thou fount of every blessing, tune my heart to sing thy grace. Now there's an apt motto for any musician or anyone who sings for that matter. In his interpretation of this hymn, the composer uses what's called a ground bass, meaning that in this case, a brief two measure bass line is repeated over and over throughout the music with only a brief break for the middle section, the third line of the hymn tune, which is treated canonically in two parts like a round. Come, thou fount of every blessing. Benediction is taken from tonight's final hymn, an interpretation of which Will will play as a benediction response. Let us pray. God who made the earth and heaven, darkness and light, you the day for work have given, for rest the night. May your angel guards defend us, slumber sweet your mercy send us, Holy dreams and hopes attend us all through the night. Holy Father, throned in heaven, all Holy Son. Holy Spirit, freely given, blessed three in one. Grant us grace, we now implore you, till we lay our crowns before you, and in worthier strains adore you while ages run. Amen. Amen.